Hi, it's Angel Chambers, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And I know I'm running about 15 minutes late, and I am on a different social media platform than you expected to find me. I could not figure out how to use my new phone to go live on YouTube. So I will work on figuring that out later. But if Facebook Live works better for you all, then let me know. The recording to this will be on my YouTube channel later this afternoon. This light's glaring on my glasses. Yeah, it didn't help. Anyway, so I just came to say hi, and I'm sorry I'm on the wrong channel, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I got. Um, actually, I can't remember when I received this random act of kindness card, but it was the envelope was used to take some notes on by members of my family, and so I just refound it, and I wanted to share it. This is from, I think, Kim in Ohio. Yes, Kim in Ohio, and it uses the new Lemon Lime Twist color and basic black. So, this is the only one I had um, for this week. The only show until I have. But I will keep having more, I'm sure. I just mailed out about six cards today, I think. And if you keep sending, you keep getting in return. So I am going to flip you around, and we are going to make our next card from the Eastern Palace Suite. I realize that there are five Thursdays in June, so we only make four cards out of the stamp set of the month. And so this month, we are making cards from the Eastern Beauty stamp set, Eastern Medallion Thinlets, and the Eastern Palace Suite. And I will have to figure out what I want to do for the last Thursday of the month. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, anything you would like to see me play with, why don't you comment and let me know, and I will take that into consideration as we uh, figure out what we're going to do the last Thursday of the month. Now let me turn you around. I'm not really sure the best place to put you, so we'll get this all figured out, and then I will um, get to begin the cart for today. Sorry, I'm probably making you all sick. But I'm trying to figure out how to get this to where it can see. Now, if I can only get it to stay there. How am I going to do that? You would think that I could have this all figured out before I go live, but that would be too simple.
next week. I'll have a whole week to play with this, and then we'll get it figured out for next week. Well, I know you can see right here, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. We'll see. This is the card we are going to be making today. It uses the fresh fig background and with the Eastern Palace Designer Series paper. I wish I could get you a little further back. Let's see. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's better. And I'm not even going to pretend to be able to see comments during this video. So, you're going to get what you get today, but I will read the comments and make the necessary adjustments for next week. Okay, that's just where it's going to stand. So, here it is, the card we're going to be working on today. I don't know if you can see it. The gold sticker tends to pick up a lot of the shine from the lamp. But first thing we're going to do is get out this designer series paper. And you will notice the original paper does not have this little design in the tranquil tide in the center of the medallions. So we are going to add those. Sorry, I was having a moment where I lost everything again, but I found it. So we get out the Eastern Beauty stamp set. Put that little design right on the clear block. I love side A. And then we're going to use the Tranquil Tide, which is the new ink color. All right. And then I'm going to just look. That's the benefit of the photopolymer. As you can see through, so you can see pretty much exactly where you want to put this. And I'm just putting a little tranquil tide medallion in the center of each of these medallions on the DSP. And I'm going to go ahead and do them up here. I'll be stamping off the paper, but it will give just a little bit of the Tranquil Tide design hanging over the edge of those. Try to figure out. I never remember where I put my stamp and scrub, but I'll put Spray some stamped mist on there. And put this stuff up for now. 
I know not everybody can stay in a creative mode if they clean as they go, but it's a it's the opposite for me. I cannot stay in a creative mode if I don't clean as it well. If things don't end up exactly back where I think they're supposed to be. Grab my bone folder. And I'm going to fold this piece of fresh fig in half. It is cut at four and quarter by, um, it's an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half long ways of four and a quarter. So it's four and a quarter by 11. So when you fold it, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to get some of the fresh fig ribbon out. And grab my glue dots and then I'm going to attach this ribbon to the piece of designer series paper Just put a few glue dots on the ribbon as I get it ready to lay down. And then we're going to lay it down. And go ahead and cut it off right there. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down using the liquid glue, the Tombow. I'm gonna put it on the back of my designer series paper and just glue this onto my card base. have my grid paper out to stamp on, I think I will go ahead and stamp the inside of the card because then we're going to move it, put a big shot, and we are done with our stamping. What do I want on the inside of the card? <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to take some more of that same little piece with the same Tranquil Tide. Before I do that, though, I'm going to add a sentiment. I think I want this card to say, let's be friends forever. So I'm going to grab that, put it on my D block, and get my fresh fig ink, pop it open. I don't know if you've um, paid attention to popping open the ink, but where there are the three little dots on the top, you put your thumb right there and it'll pop it, and then you can see, of course, it doesn't work like it's supposed to. Pop, grab this, flip, and slide it in. And then we're going to 
tap, tap, tap. Get the Let's Be Friends Forever stamp ready. Put it down. Perfect. Hmm, I'm never sure where the stamp and scrub ran away to. I just, I don't know. But that's okay, because I don't need that block again. And I'll just clean up when I'm done. And now we do the same with the tranquil side. Oh, I did it off camera. Okay. The three dots. Push, flip, slide in. There it is. And then I'm going to add... one of the diamonds right there and I think one on the top as well. Perfect. Now close up my ink. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on the inside of the card. One of the things I love about the liquid glue is that it gives me just a minute to slide my car around a bit so that since I'm not really very good about following the grid lines and measuring, I can slide it while I eyeball it. Alright, there's the card. Set the glue aside for now. Get my bone folder back. My scissors. And I am going to just scoot my grid paper in there, which means I better put those stamp blocks there or I'll forget I even have them out. And the, oh, I found my stamp and scrub. It fell on the floor under my wheelchair. The first thing I'm going to do, what we are doing today is we are trying to recreate this medallion that is on the front of the designer series paper. And so that is what I've trying to do with my thinlets and I'm almost certain that um, you guys have some great creative ideas for doing a even closer replica but um, just let me know what you found what you discovered this is what I have, have worked out so I'm going to go ahead and put in my base with the precision base plate. I'm hoping that I have enough of the fresh fig to make a couple of medallions. But if I don't, it's a good thing I have more fresh fig paper coming today because I have one more card base size left besides my scraps. Okay. So let me grab out. Oops. I'm losing everything. I'm gonna grab that. Look, did I have anything else? No, I think I just made the big flower shape. 
And so I am going to slide this through a couple of times to try to make it easier to get out here after a bit. Okay, there's one flower shape. And then I will need a second flower shape. Does that fit there? Almost. It depends on where. We're just going to use it. We're going to get as close as we can get and call it good. Just sit this over here for now and we're going to switch no not yet no switching plates yet we have to make the very vanilla um, center of the flower and so I have to look and see which one of those I used which is interesting but you'll see what I did with it here in a minute so it is actually this little shape the circle shape with the triangles I am going to use my scissors momentarily to cut that out and we're going to run this through a few times Usually, I do this kind of precise big shot work um, on a steadier surface. My husband is afraid that I'm just going to completely knock down this desk area by pushing so hard. So I'll try to support it from beneath a bit while I do this. Okay. Now, if you have the Eastern Medallion Thinlet set, I would highly recommend my precision base thinlets were the wrong direction. That's not good. Um, I would highly recommend getting the layering circles as well because what I'm about to do is to find the perfect size of circle that will just fit around these very vanilla circles that I have cut and we are going to use it to cut them out. That side might even do some of the fussy cutting for me here in a minute. So I'll just send this through. And, yep, it came close. It's a little, little different than 
the one that's on my first card, but that's all right. No two cards are ever the same. Okay. I used the size up from this circle on the previous card, but then I had to go around the circle and um, cut out the rectangles. And there aren't going to be rectangles so much on this one, but it's going to, and it's going to look different, but that's okay. Every card is an original. And I'm sorry if I if you're commenting and I'm not answering because um, I'm just not able to really see what's up while I'm working. going to get the magnet board out for this next step because we don't want I've already put down the um, sticker the gold sticker and I, we do not want the thinlet to the framelit to slip off of there so let's Oh, so I forgot what I was doing. Put down the cutting plate. Now we get the thinlet on there and get it put exactly where it needs to go. Stick the oops, it moved. There we go. Stick the other cutting plate on top and send it through. Always scares me a bit when it makes that noise, but I have enough practice to know that it's going to be fine. And there it is, the cut out sticker shape. All this big shot stuff put up. move my big shot machine and then I grab my dye brush and pad and we are going to see what we can do about getting Just rolling out the little pieces really gently. Now, if any of you are interested in playing with some of my tools and products you can go on my website at angelstamps.stampinup.net and see when I'm having a live class and get yourself signed up for that. Also, if you want to play along with me while I 
do these videos, these live videos on Thursdays, you can, oh, that looks a little bit like a snowflake. You can um, see which uh, stamp sets we are going to be using for the month and order that from my store or from yourself if you're a demonstrator. And if you want me to send you the card making kit so you can play along, you can let me know and I will get the July, I'll get the July card kit sent out the last week of June. So we can play along while we do some creating. And this recording will be on YouTube. And so you'll be able to pause and rewatch as much as you want. All right. Grab my scissors. We're going to snip out. these medallions they actually pull out fairly easily and some of it when I was rolling over it with the dye brush it was detaching it from the paper as well so that's something to be careful about if you don't want to detach it from the paper Okay, grab the glue. And the first thing we're going to do is stack the fresh fig flowers on top of each other. So do that and make sure that the petals are just off center from each other a little bit and then we're going to do the same thing with the next layer we don't want them to be right on top of each other so I'll get it just a tiny bit and then Oh yeah, I forgot. I was going to stamp onto this center. So, let me do... some getting things back out. And, good thing I found my stampin' scrub. Because I am going to need... block. So I'll put the sentiment away and what we will be using on this is the um, circle. I believe it is this circle right here. Check that out. Yes. So I will get that in the fresh big ink. Oops. Grab a baby wipe because I just decided I needed to paint my fingernail. I don't know if you can see it, but it's beautiful fresh fig color. Alright, and so I'm going to move that circle to where I can reach it. 
tap, 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 and make sure that I've gotten any extra off, and then lay it down. It's not exactly, let's try the other side. And then we'll just choose which one's the best. There, that one's the best. And so we put this away. And I'm not going to add the little diamond shape to the center because we made that um, bigger Tranquil Tide flower that we will be attaching. There is that. I'm done with this glue. I'm going to be using Stamp of Dimensionals, and I just managed somehow to lose my flower. I hate it when I do that. It happens at almost every project. I'll find it. Eventually, we may not get it put on here before the end of the video, but I will find it. I'm going to grab the regular size stamp of dimensionals and get a few put on here. And then I will be attaching the medallion to the end of the ribbon. I don't know what I could have done with that flower. Huh. There it is. Amazing what happens when you pick things up. Alright, so I will put some dimensionals on the back of the flower. And we will attach it as our finishing touch to the front of this card. Alright, and then we're going to just put this back there, probably. So, here we have it. Here is the original card. Card A. Try to get my hands out of the way. And then we have card B. A and B. So just let me know which one you like better. I'm going to turn you around and talk to you for a second. Hi. This is still really no great because I have to... Um, Hold, there we go. You were floating upside down. 
and it's still do it. not really great because I have to hold the camera at this angle. But I will hold you and I will talk to you and I say, Hi, Misty, and I did not have any idea that it was filming upside down, um, but apparently it was, and so I will just put this recording on YouTube, and you can watch the recording, and if it was upside down, I will try to get it fixed, and I will see you all next week to do our very last of the Eastern Medallion cards. Thanks.